Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do some quick experiments to see how durable these composite panels are when it comes to exposure to heat. That's the only thing I haven't been able to test around here because it's still very early spring right now so it's not going to get hot enough to be able to just leave it outside in the sun, you know, leave the trailer outside in the sun. So instead, I have a heat gun. Oops, yeah. It's the trouble with working in an area where you don't have a lot of room. You hit your head a lot. And I also have a temperature probe, infrared temperature probe. Right now, let's see. The board is about 3.8 degrees Celsius. So it's still quite cold. I'm going to heat it up until I notice I've already done this before. What happens is if you get it really good and hot, you will get some separation between the phylon and the foam, which is what you don't want to happen. But my testing indicates that doesn't happen until it's about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll see if I can replicate that now. I, I will heat it up until I see some separation starting to happen, and then I'll check the temperature. So here we go. Okay, we're just starting to get some separation now. And the temperature is 126 degrees Celsius. Which is well over the boiling point of water. Still just a minimal amount of separation. I found that if I hold the gun on long enough, you'll be able to see some measurable separation. Still really hasn't separated very much. <laughs> Probably because the panel is all cold, so it is absorbing the heat quite a bit.
Okay, that went up to 191 degrees C. And we did have a separation. But it does tend to spring back. I don't know. I really no point in playing around with it anymore, I don't think. Because uh, I'd have to figure out what 191 degrees C is in Fahrenheit, but it's that's uh, way up there. <laughs> so that was the final thing I was worried about with this trailer. How would it respond to heat? And there is another thing. If you go on to some of the people that build uh, composite panel kits to make trailers out of RVs, there's quite a few places in Australia to, that do it. Uh, I believe there's two companies in Canada that make uh, composite uh, panels that you can buy as a kit. And most of them recommend that you do not paint these panels. If you paint these panels dark, it's going to attract the heat and you might have problems. Um, I don't know how hot a black painted panel would get, say in the Arizona sunshine, but I believe it would get pretty hot. So they do recommend, they only sell them in white and they recommend that you do not paint them. And what I did, if you did, in case you didn't notice, I'll uh, see if I can get a get a shot of it. You can see the lettering. I decided to do a sort of a ghost lettering in white so that I don't get a spot where it attracts the heat. I I watch a lot of the uh, AZ RV expert videos. And I've seen him repair uh, damaged trailers, delamination. And when he peels the phylon off, you can see underneath on the Luan burn marks wherever there's a, a dark graphic on the side of the trailer or anywhere on the trailer. And that kind of got me to wondering how much damage the painting a trailer black would be. And you do see a lot of new trailers that are now painted. Another thing I did the other day, <clears throat> I glued on a strip of vinyl fabric to make the clean up the look of the hinge. So you can open it all the way up. And it also kind of has a self-closing feature but it covers up all the screws and the ugly and the hinge looked pretty ugly and also i thought well if somebody really wanted to get in and you're inside there all they had to do is take the screws out take the hinge right off they could also do that with this i haven't uh, i'll have to put some uh tamper proof screws or anti-theft screws, whatever they're called. And this is the shelf that I made the other day. This is where the heater is gonna go. Maybe a little fan. I made a little nicer bed. I got a bedspread. It's kind of messy right now for me crawling in and out to put the fan on or put the shelf on that I made just a couple of days ago. I published a video of that. And that's where I put the Model 2 designation. At any rate, that's all I wanted to show. Thanks for watching.